Good morning everyone. There are four main components for a large language model as you can see here. We have the transformer architecture, we have the tokens, we have the parameters and the context window length. And when we talk about large language models, we almost refer the size of the model. Like GPT-3 has 175 billion parameters, Llama 2 the biggest of the Llama, they have 70 billion of the parameter. What is this 70 billion parameters and coming to that parameters are the variables that the model learns during the training process and they get adjusted during the training process and why this happens because for a given input during the training process you want to try and minimize the difference between the predicted and the actual output. Let me give you an example of a neural network and how does the parameter come into the picture. So in this next uh, slide, uh, yeah, in this next slide what we are going to see is this is a neural network. They contain of an input layer and an output layer and in the middle there is something called as a hidden layer. This is a visual representation of a neural network and you can see the architecture has different layers and the node is represented by a circle in the graphics it receives input from the other nodes that are there it processes it uh, and then passes the output to the other nodes so a node represents the neurons <coughs> and the collection of nodes or neurons is known as a whole neural network the input layer has three different nodes the hidden layer has four nodes and the output layer has one node this is a connected network so we will understand what is parameter in this particular scenario and as you can see there are diff between the input uh, between the two different uh, layers the, there are connections and they are calculated by weights so weights is equal to inputs and biases but the thing is what happens is that there is always a term of uh, biasness because it is not exactly equal right the number of parameters is not only always equal to the number of weights but also it is equal to the number of uh, weights plus the biases so here I am going to give you an example so what is happening is uh, from the input layer on the left there is a line from every node in one column or the layer to all the nodes in the uh, the other layer this type of neural network usually makes a small part of the large language model that is there and each of the lines connects one node to the other node are the edges and they represent the weights and this uh, network learns by adjusting those weights the network that is there it learns by adjusting the weights uh, and we can easily calculate the number of weights as you said in the earlier slide by multiplying it by uh, the input to the output and uh, what happens is the weight associated with the connection won't give us an accurate result when trying to fit or train our model with the data so we need an offset to adjust uh, every term for the node and in this example there will be four in total this means uh, for this particular scenario if you can see here it will be three into four because this is this is the weight plus four so here it is going to be 12 plus four it is going to be six so for this diagram the total uh, in, the, in this particular scenario this you can see that this the number of parameter is 3 times into 4 plus 4 which is a total of 16 we apply the exact same logic to the next part of the network which is the middle section and we have four nodes on the left and four on the right and this means uh, we are going to do the calculation and get the whole uh, node uh, here as well so in this scenario in the first case what is it going to happen 3 into 4 plus 4 and this is going to be 16 in this scenario in the second note it is going to be 4 into 4 
plus 4 because we have in the in the left uh, layer we have 4 nodes and in the right 4 nodes and 4 for the buyer so this is going to be 16 4 into 4 is 16 plus 4 that is 20 here it is going to be 3 here it, there is only 1 so 4 into 1 plus 1 so here it is going to be 5 how we are coming with 41 is we are adding all the weights that are there 16 plus 20 plus 5 is equal to 41 so this particular thing is a 41 parameter model i have given given a quiz in our uh, community a few days back about the same network and asking for the parameter so this is the way we calculate the parameter that is there and to give you a sense of perspective uh, most lang uh, large language models llms like gpt3 llama they have several billion parameters uh, and they consist of lot of uh, layers lot of nodes and lot of uh, you can say connections like this so this is a completely connected network and this is the way we calculate the number of parameters so looking forward for uh, uh, more such informative videos in the coming uh, days.